apple seeds, um, and, and it's all plants of the genus called prunus, P-R-U-N-U-S. That includes cherries, apples, almonds, apricots, uh, um, plums, peaches, the, the list goes on and on. And we've all heard these, um, some people think they're myths and they're not, that the pits contain cyanide. And that's absolutely positively true. The pits of the, all of these fruits contain cyanide. In fact, the entire plant contains cyanide. The only parts that don't are the edible fruits. But the stems, the leaves, the twigs, the branches, all contain cyanide. Now, it's not in a high concentration. It's not something that if you accidentally eat a few apple seeds or that if your dog eats a single peach pit, that it's gonna be poisoned by the cyanide. Other problems can ensue. They can develop a gastric foreign body or a foreign body within their intestinal tract from a pit. But the toxicity, usually they need a little bit more than just what's going to be found in pits and, and uh, seeds. But we know dogs like to chew on sticks. If you have sticks that fall off of a cherry tree or an apple tree, those also can contain cyanide. And so those are the types of branches and trees you don't want your dog nibbling on. Again, probably one or two bites or a little bit of, an, of eating that isn't going to cause acute toxicity. The species that we typically see dying from cyanide poisoning from these plants are cows, goats, and sheep. And we do see cases of those. Uh, annually in California and that's usually where the, those animals are grazing or foraging on large volumes of the, of the plant material from, those type, from that um, genus of plants.